Hey guys, my name is Maticus. I'm going to be doing the voiceover now for Mia's latest art project. Um, my name is Maticus. It's not Mia with a voice change or something happening to her. But we're going to get started here. Okay, she's using paint immediately with the paint, putting it down. And there seems to be a background coming to see. Uh, looks like she's using color erase pencils. I knew that for notes. <laughs> uh, bubbles, it looks like, around, I don't know, maybe an outline of an animal of some sort. I don't know. This is all speculation at this point because I don't know art. Okay, now she's looking. She's using a marker, and she's doing some kind of more foreground image. Um, looks like it looks uh, perhaps extraterrestrial, perhaps terrestrial. I don't know. At this stage, it's very early to tell, but I think she's using Kurtaki brush pens or cure take brush pens i don't know i was left notes to see if i could maybe sound a little smarter but i just butchered that word for no reason um looks like maybe an old angry nope nope striped looks striped or maybe a zebra maybe dealing with some kind of uh safari planed creature oh wait looks like a beard looks like a billy goat beard might be a goat i'm thinking it might be a goat goat Call him goat. I think it's a goat. I don't know what kind of art this is. I like it. It's interesting. It's cool, but I don't know what this would be called. This isn't like some kind of uh, expressionist or or uh, landscape art. It, it's an actual ca character caricature of a wooden goat. Oh, that looks like different. Perhaps somewhat bedazzling around. Um, yeah, I th I'm thinking definitely goat or lamb. Maybe an evil lamb. That would be interesting. That might be a cool thing. But it definitely looks like a... a <laughs> or a goat with a ski mask on. <laughs> Put the can in my fucking mouth, Jeff. No, I don't know. It's, it's more is coming in. I don't know. I'm liking the spiral effect on it, though. It's an interesting look to it because so I don't think this is going to look uh, specifically like an animal you'd see I don't think it's it's surreal I don't think it's it's uh, otherworldly but I think it's a different take on a modern animal as a vintage animal of whatever the fuck okay so looks like she's filling in more of the ground more of the the background and the foreground combining them to make a picture the, the combination of background and foreground making something visually interesting, at least right now. It looks very cool. I'm liking the, the single stroke of spiraling. It's not really spiraling, but it's single stroke of, of uh, filling in that imagery. She's doing it over the entire thing, it seems. It seems the entire page will be encompassed in this. This, these ropes. Yeah, there could be ropes of some. Oh, oh, now we changed the camera angles. Now we're coming above. We're looking at it. Okay, so it's only the one side so far. But it's interesting that it's this. I don't know. I can't tell what it is just yet. Okay, I think it's a goat. I'm going goat. But, or deer. Or it could be an evil deer. Mia loves deers, though. So that's not a problem. If you like the video, you should send her deer. Uh, memorabilia. It's a fun thing. But now she's doing the other side. I wonder if she's going to do the same pattern she's been doing on the right-hand side with the... Oh, yep, it looks like looks like that's happening. It's going down. So she's completing the entire... I think the entire picture is going to be like that. Perhaps some will be left blank or negative space, as it were. Which is that it, It's an interesting combination of negative space here. I think. I don't know. Again, I'm trying to talk like I know about art. I don't. Um, the image looks very black metal, in a way. I'll talk about things I do know, which is music. Um, it looks almost like a image you would see on like a black metal band's record, but like a really like progressive black metal band. One that's not satisfied with the old uh, uh, way of doing things of black metal. Not for fans of Mayhem, but for, you know, fans of, of Yes or King Crimson that just wanted to do blast beats forever. Okay, now that she's she's completing the top half of the picture is all done in black and white and purple in the background. 
Oh, yes. Oh, there's the can. Of course, it is a goat. Confirmed. Confirmation it's a goat because there's cans, I think, is what those are. I definitely think they're cans. And I think that the 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 imagery... Oh, it's cool. It's creating this 3D-like effect with the bubbles behind it and... What looks like it's it's it looks like it's it's almost coming out of the background and creating the I don't know I guess it would be a forest it would be a a uh, uh, oh he looks happy he looks either either happy or high I'm not sure he's got the the Maticus look on his face and now detail the cans of course must detail the cans I wonder if those are canned beans maybe maybe there's some sort of canned vegetable. Maybe it's chicken in a can. Maybe that goat lucked out. And I got an entire cheeseburger, entire chicken in a can. Okay, now we're darkening. We're darkening. It looks like, oh, it's very trippy. It's very psychedelic. But then it is, it is, it has an underlying, almost creepy kind of feel to it in a way. I don't know, maybe it's the look of the goat. I don't know. Some people might see it and say, you know, it's, it's oh, it's very pretty. Oh, it's very nice. But I think it's cool and a little dark. It's a little dark here. Oh, well, now we're getting we're getting less dark. Less dark with the flowers. That's pretty, though. See, now, one when, when a piece is being created, obviously, you can speculate about what you think it's going to look like, what's going to end up looking like, and you have, you have flowers, and you have, I think that, I think the goat may be vomiting the flowers from the food that he ate in the cans. I'm telling a story with this entire piece right now. I'm creating a narrative. So you guys are lucky. This is, you know. Okay, now we're we're getting more of a shadowing effect. Shadowing, shadowing. I don't know. It's 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 an interesting thing here because the more filling out of the items, the more real the picture becomes. And I'm I'm again completely ignorant to the practices and procedures of art and and you know i'm not an art critic but i like this i like the detail on the face like the way the face is looking when it's the shadow down the forehead of the beast and the mini horns it's almost you could almost draw a pentagram in there again it's 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 got some bright colors with the orange in there i don't know if those are dandelions i don't know if dandelions are orange but it looks it looks like it's popping that color if i can coin it tim gunn phrase it's popping that color because the rest of it is is very dark and oh she put her pen down she put it down i don't know i think it's done i think it's complete yeah see that that goat looks that goat looks creepy subscribe to our channel Wow. Yeah, okay. My name is Maticus. This has been me of Art. Subscribe. Share. Check it out.